Hello and welcome to another video of Eternal Gains. This is the channel where I show you how to make the most out of your capital, how to grow in the most sustainable and safe way. Today I want to take you guys on a journey, to be exact, uh, to the journey to Astroport, right? Um, you might have heard about Astroport already, or maybe you didn't. But Astroport is basically the DEX, at least that's the assumption. It's going to be one of the biggest DEXs on Terra Luna. Okay. What is Terra Luna? Terra Luna is a chain, is another chain, like Phantom or Avalanche or something else. And um, this chain is currently by market cap, if you look at it, Terra Luna right here, number 11. So there's definitely some room to grow. It's behind Solana, behind Cardano, behind XRP, right? But right now is quite some buzz around Luna. And most probably it has to do with Astroport, okay? Now, what's the deal with Astroport? Um, Astroport is currently doing a so-called lock drop, okay? Which is an airdrop, uh, what you can get for providing liquidity, okay? I will just walk you through real quick what you have to do and um, we go from there. So I will of course put all those links in the description so you can have a look from there. But basically what Astroport is doing, uh, uh, is, is uh, doing, they are launching very soon, okay? And therefore they do, they do a so-called lock drop. Lock drop means you get tokens for locking um, liquidity. And there's two ways how you can get those tokens. The first one is um, here. The first one is to take to lock TerraSwap liquidity in Astroport. Okay. The second one is to use uh, the user who add Astro and or USDT tokens to the Astro UST liquidity pool. Okay. Now this Astroport website, I mean the the the, the, the DEP, is not live yet. What we have at this point is just the announcement and the thing will go live on the 6th of December. So from today, we have another good three days to do that. Now, what they want us to do is to provide liquidity on TerraSwap, okay? And as soon as the event starts on the 6th of December, take those LP tokens from TerraSwap and lock them into Astroport, okay? Um, these are some two other ways how you could have um, get the tokens, but this is already done. You would have had uh, held tokens September the 9th. Okay, so this is already done. So unless you already held the token at this time, this one is not interesting for us at this point. Okay. Now important for us is phase one, the lock drop. Okay. You see right here, starts on December the 6th. Okay. Here's how it works. Users will be able to migrate and lock TerraSwap LP tokens in Astroport in exchange for a drop, uh, for a drop of Astro tokens that will be immediately unlocked when Astroport, la Astroport launches. The lock LP tokens themselves will form the base liquidity for Astroport protocol. The launch of Astroport is on the 20th of December, which means from the 6th December until the 20th of December, you can lock your LP tokens into Astroport and therefore you get rewarded with Astro tokens. And Astro tokens is the uh, governance token of Astroport. Okay. Now here you see also the breakdown on uh, which pair is going to receive how much of those 75 million Astro tokens, which is going to be distributed uh, through this method. Okay. So if you are on, um, on Terra, swap, then you put your LP tokens into Luna USD, UST, um, and this pool receives 34% of the uh, entire distribution, yeah? And then accordingly the, the other pairs, okay? So here you have even a nice graphic on how this uh, whole thing is um, conducted. So phase one, this is basically the one that we are talking about right now. So the first step is to begin the great liquidity from TerraSwap to Astroport. Yeah, and you go through those phases, and at the end is the is the uh, Astro Lounge. 
And phase two is that you can lock the, um, the Astro tokens, what you got from phase one, you can lock them up again and then get even some more Astro tokens on those. It's, it's kind of a staking mechanism already in phase two. Okay. Now, they also emphasize that the age of your TerraSwap LP is not important. It's also important who puts, uh, who migrates their liquidity first. It doesn't matter. All that matters is that you do it. So now there are some upsides and some downsides to this whole operation here. I will not go into phase two. If you're inter interested into that, you can just come over here to this article and have a read yourself and, you know, make, make up your own opinion. What we are focusing on right now is phase one, because that's the one which uh, which is really interesting. So you can accumulate some, you know, in quotes, in air quotes, free Astro tokens. Again, always the risk of impermanent loss between Luna and UST in this case, or this other pairs here. Um, but all in all, I think this could be a nice, relatively low risk um, opportunity to acquire some of those Astro tokens. And since there's a lot of buzz around Astro right now, um, the the chance that this token is gonna uh, is gonna start off with a good price is relatively high, okay? Now, what are the hurdles? The first hurdle is that Luna, right? The token here. So this Astro port is built, this Astro port here is built on the Luna, uh, on the Terra chain, okay? And the, the token of TerraChain is Luna. Now, um, this Luna chain, okay, uh, sorry, TerraChain, has uh, has an um, individual um, address format, okay? It's not the standard 0x um, addresses, what you have on Ethereum, on Avalanche, on Phantom, and on many other chains. No, they decided to go for a custom format of addresses, okay? What that means is you cannot use uh, MetaMask in this case to connect to this um, chain. So the first thing what you wanna do, if you want to participate in this um, lock drop, is to set up a wallet on Terra. And this is exactly what I'm going to show you first. So you can come over here from CoinMarketCap, right? And just click here and you will come to their Website. I opened this website already here. Um, so this is the, the official website from Terra. Okay. And the first thing what you want to do is come over here and get the wallet. Okay. There are different options, as you can see. Um, I would recommend to do the Chrome extension because then you can just use it like MetaMask. It's pretty much the same process. So you come over here to the Chrome extension. It will it will take you to the um, to the uh, Chrome a web store, and you just come here to add. Okay, we want to add this uh, extension to our Chrome browser here. So it's going to download the file and add it to your browser. So you can close this one. Um, now you see it's already done. Okay, it added it to my, to my Chrome. If you want to see your uh, extensions, just come over here, click this little um, icon, and it will now show up in your up here in this bar, okay? So if you open the TerraSwap wallet for the first time, you will see this screen here. So what you wanna do is come over here and do a new wallet first. So the first thing that I'm asking you for is a safe password, okay? So I will put one here. Ah, sorry, this is the wallet name, of course. So let's put the wallet name, let's call it Terra1 password. You saw it already, 56789. 10, okay, the same thing again. Ah, okay, let's, let's just take this one, it doesn't, I mean, obviously, if you want to try to drain this wallet, good luck, this is just for demonstration purposes only. And, um, okay, it must be longer than 10 characters, so let's add something here, okay. So in my case now, the uh, wallet, name and the password is the same. Obviously, don't do this in production. Yeah, this is uh, very, very unsafe. So choose a strong password in the best case with some, you know, uh, special characters. Looks like it's not allowed in here in the name. Okay. But just choose a safe and long password. Okay. And um, 
put it here, okay? As I said, this is just a demo account, so uh, it doesn't matter. And then the important thing is your seed phrase right here. So this seed phrase is like in MetaMask. You never, ever share this, feed, uh, this seed phrase with anybody, okay? Because whoever got this seed phrase right here, those 12 words in this order will be able to, um, to take control of your wallet, okay? So make sure that you store this in a safe place. It's even recommended that you are storing it in uh, on paper, that you write down on paper. But if not, make sure to store this in a safe place, okay? So you have to say, okay, I, I read. So for this purpose right here, let me do... Okay, this is very unsafe now, but I just do a new tab. I copy it in here because you will need it in the next step again, okay? So we say, okay, I have written and everything. I agree. Wonderful. Let's go. Now it will ask you for the second and the third word in this case. This can also be some other, some other ones, right? So the second word was motion. Okay. Let's put that in. Motion. The third word was tend. Tend. Let's put this in as well. There you go create a wallet okay so now as you can see already this is the this is the um, address of the wallet okay right here and as you can see the format it starts with terra 1s okay and everything on metamask starts usually with 0x so this is the main difference between the two um, but apart from that you have the same functionality here like you have with metamask you have your wallet here you can add the tokens you see your balance and so on and you can also connect it in the same way now to uh, websites which support this chain, which would be the next step. Because again, to take place, to take part in this um, drop here, we need to supply Luna USDT or one of the other pairs here in TerraSwap. Okay, so let's go to the next uh, to the next step. We need to go to TerraSwap. Right? Let's check it out. TerraSwap. There you go app.terra.swap and you see already when i'm coming on the site this extension here terra station is asking me if i want to allow this website to do connect to my wallet yes in this case i want to do that and now everything is basically like on ethereum or any other chain we are connected with our wallet and now we can interact with uh with this website right here okay um terra swap as you can see from the layout and everything sorry, let's go back on the web app, is uh, pretty similar to Uniswap. Like all of those uh, DEXs, they, most of them are forks of Uniswap, actually. They just change their logo, the colors a little bit, this and that. But the functionality is the same like Uniswap. So um, at this point, what we need to do is provide the liquidity right here, Luna, and in this case, it said UST, right? So... As I showed you in my uh, strategy, um, 10K to 600K, you need to um, supply equal amounts of coins, okay? So in this case, let's say you want to go for, uh, in total, 2K, $2,000 worth of tokens, then you would have to, you would, you would need um, 1,000 worth of USDT, UST, and 1,000 worth of Luna, okay? Then you would put them in here, right? You see already that I have to do it the other way around. Let's go. You can't in this case, interesting. Okay, either way, it must be the same value, okay? Then you go to provide. You um, approve the transaction here in your wallet. Everything like on uh, MetaMask as well. Now we have the LP tokens, okay? What we're going to do with the LP tokens? Now we have to wait basically for the 6th of uh, December when their uh, D app goes live, decentralized app here on Luna, right? And then we can go there and put our LP tokens, what we just received from here, into the Astroport lock drop pool, right? Then we just leave it in there and therefore receive Astro tokens. Now at the end, Probably most of you are going to wonder, okay, 
how do I get those Luna tokens? Because like on any chain, you need the native chain token to pay for gas. So how you get money into Luna? That's the question. The answer is there are different ways as always. Probably the easiest way is if you are on uh, Binance or um, FTX or any other centralized exchange for that matter, even Coinbase, then you can buy Luna on Coinbase or on, on uh, Binance and then just send your Luna to your own wallet address right here. Okay, so you can basically withdraw from the from the exchange onto your own address, and then you have the Luna here on your address, and everything works like um, with MetaMask. Okay, I hope that helped, guys. And um, if you have any questions, or if you want me to do a more in depth video uh, on any of the parts what I was now uh, explaining, just post me a comment. Like it out, share it with your friends, and see you in the next one.